Hi everyone. So today uh, for LeetCode, we're going to actually try to do a problem that's kind of interesting. Um, I was just looking through uh, the website and I saw a posting here by someone that, you know, congratulations, got an offer from Google at, at L5 position. That's pretty uh, impressive. Um, so I was reading through this position a little bit just to get an understanding of the backstory because I want you guys to have a real life experience. You know, this was done in October 14th, 2019, and this individual gave, you know, some examples, some tips on how they succeeded. And I thought it would be a good question just to, you know, uh, see real life uh, possible questions, right? Uh, one of the questions that they got, at least, was his, case, his particular um, story was that he had uh, two phone screens, right? One phone screen because, and then he's trying to solve it, but, you know, if you don't meet the full bar, a lot of the times, uh, these big companies will give you a second chance if you're like very, very close. So before diving into this person's profile, I'm not going to bother with that. I'm more focused on the question itself. It seems like the first question that this person got as, asked was, you know, on the in the realm of one of these four questions, which is assign cookies, employee tree, and so on and so forth. So I took a look at the first question, and I thought that would probably be a good one to uh, do with you guys. Cool. Let's look at assign cookies. Cool. All right. Let's not look at his solution um, and actually just look at solving it ourselves. Now, this person uh, did it in you know C++, but let's try doing it in, in uh, JavaScript for our sakes, right? So uh, let's read the question first, uh, like always. Uh, ass assign cookies, right? 455. It's an easy question, so I don't expect this to be too challenging. Um, the question is asking, assume you are an awesome parent and want to give your child some cookies. Great, but you should give each child at most one cookie. Okay, so that's an important factor, right? So no one can get fat, they can only have one cookie. Great, I understand that problem. Each child has a greed factor uh, of G. Okay, fine, G of one, that's fine, which is the minimum size of cookie that the child will be content with. And each cookie J has a size S, J. So you're giving like, basically this is gonna be the the greed factor, and this is the size of the size of the pretty much cookies that you have, right? So if the size of the cookie is greater or equal to the greed factor of your uh, of your cut child, maybe we might as well just call this like the hungry factor. We can assign the cookie J to child I, and the child can be content, and everybody will be happy. Okay, cool. Let's see some of the important notes here. You may assume that the greed factor is always positive. You cannot assign more than one cookie to one child. So this is very important. Like once again, when I keep repeating this, if the interviewer asks you or give you tips about notes or assumptions, make sure you note those down because those will be very important in solving your problem. So we know for a fact here in summary that you have, you know, um, a list of hungry children, um, and each of those, you know, uh, you're given an array of G right here that pretty much indicates how hungry each children is. Right. And then you're giving a stack of, uh, you know, cookies and those cookies have various sizes. So you have a stack of cookies with sizes. Uh, simple enough. So in this case, let's look at an example. Here's a list of, you know, people like children and their hungry factor. So this is like one, two, three. Simple enough. And then you look at two equal sized cookie size. Right. So in this example, um, if you look at it, since you're only allowed to assign one cookie to one child, the only case that you know, makes people happy here is if you, you know, give child number one, the one size of one cookie, right? Because if you give child two, you can't give them two cookies to satisfy their appetite because that's breaking the rule. Um, and none of these cookies are of size two or more. So therefore, you know, these two, unfortunately, they're too greedy and they won't get anything. So in the solution here is um, will equal to one. Same case on the bottom here, you know, one, two, simple that they're going to eat these two cookies and they're all happy. So you have an excess of cookie. In theory, you can also give them these two cookies on the back, but you know, that's not the most efficient thing. So let's just um, try to do something a little bit more um, efficient in a sense. So let's go dive into the question. I'm going to actually turn this into a yeah, six format first. Now, before I even think about like how to solve this problem, um, let's give it a thought process what we have to do, right? So since you're giving a list of children, um, each indicating how hungry you are, it doesn't tell us anything about how these, you know, children line up or anything, right? So assuming that you're like in a field uh, with a lot of, you know, uh, hungry folks, you, you probably want them to line up in a certain way, right? So what I mean by that 
is think about okay maybe I should you know sort the first uh, the kids and I should probably sort the sizes of cookies um, that's my first thought and I think we need to probably res you know capture or record the solution of each of the um, of the people that are successfully fed right so I'm gonna let's do that so let's create a variable solution equal to zero these are pretty much how many people how many people are fed great and then I'm gonna also keep an index here saying that let the greed index so this will basically keep track of where we are on the position of where the kids are right so I'm gonna call that greed index because our solution we think about it I'm gonna go and basically go through my cookies and start seeing if my cookies uh, feed the appropriate children right if it is great I just keep moving on moving on to the next children next children, next children. but I'm gonna go all the way to the end of my cookie list and if I go to the end of my cookies no more food then you know sorry but you know the first people in the front get fed first so all right so next thing we need to do is make sure that the inputs are sorted so I'm gonna make sure my things are sorted a uh, I'm gonna pass a B in here so for those who don't know the sorting function you probably Google it yourself but in effectively what this does over here is gonna sort it in the increment increasing order right from smallest to largest and s dot sort I'm gonna give it a and b the two variables minus one a minus b boom uh, okay that's great no semicolons because it's JavaScript and great okay cool so now we have two things that are sorted so what do we do right we're gonna actually go and look at every cookie size so cookie size right um, of s so this is a list of cookie sizes that I have and I'm just gonna be you know checking whether or not you know if my cookie size is greater or equal to greater or equal to my g my greed factor which is greed index which is basically gonna say okay is the size gonna be fitting for that particular kid if it is all right great someone is fed so what I'm gonna do is gonna go solution I'm gonna increase by one and also the greed index I'm gonna increase it by one because that child has been fed and this is a you know a very simple question I'm this is not, this is not complicated at all after you do this then I've, I've, I kind of feel like we can just return the solution right and that's it let's let's try to submit the code see if it works and great we win now I know it's kind of like saying that's like 27% and whatnot but like I said before leak code is various you know it's kind of wonky sometimes depending on the night time of day you are um, each of these times can vary uh, another example is like if I run the same piece of code here and just submit it again you're gonna get a different time a 96 so um, anyways this solves the problem and yeah this uh, hope this helps uh, stay tuned for the next one see ya